open careers and running your own business, cheats, mature age rating, and presence of violence, I have a list of confirmed features in Life by You, with a handful of new ones just confirmed. Make sure you don't miss any of the news. Open World Life Simulator Life by You provides an open world experience with focus on player agency and freedom. It's a world without loading screens, allowing players to move freely throughout the environment. The aim is to provide incredible depth and freedom, regardless of how you choose to spend your time playing Life by You. Do you want to create your avatar and explore the world around you? You can do that literally by taking control of your character and moving them as you might a traditional third-person RPG or point-and-click. Multiple modes of transportation Players can choose from various modes of transportation, such as walking, biking, jogging, running, or catching a bus. Being an open-world RPG, Life by You allows for that type of freedom of exploration. So that also means if you see a hill in the distance, you can go to it, climb it, take in the view, and encounter people, places, and stories along the way. NPC interactions Anything a player can do, NPCs can also do, and vice versa, creating a world where NPCs operate as if they were players. Players can interact with NPCs and take over their lives at any moment. At any time, if you like, I want to play another character, you can click on any NPC and you can just play them. You can go back to your original family and continue to play them forever. When you take over an NPC, you get all of their memories, their relationships, their likes and dislikes, everything. True Simulation Every person in the world is always being simulated, even when you're not looking. That's a key difference for any life simulator. When you see somebody go to work and go into a building, they really go to work. You can follow them there and watch them do their work. If I right click on this person, I can then take over that person and live their life. My person would be AI controlled if I choose, or I can say, no, don't do anything until I get back. You can do that as well. But everything is being simulated all the time in all of these buildings. You can mouse over that, the roof will disappear, and you get to see the people in it doing their things. Job system. The game features a job system that allows players to physically move their characters to their workplace and even manage their own businesses. If you have a job, you go to that job. I'm not meaning that you wake up, click a button and then appear at your job. You physically move your character out of your house, down the street and go to the job, all without loading screens. Players can get a job in the world or even start and build their own businesses. The world operates like a real one would, with starting hours and closing hours for your jobs, salary ranges you can set to pay the employees you hire for your store, and more. It even operates down to the delivery driver, bringing items you order in an online shop operating in the game world, or even maybe your own online store. Heck, you can even take over the delivery driver, should you choose, and live out their life. This is life by you, of course. Skill building through observation and practice. Players can build skills observing and practicing activities in the game world. Want to start a career as a writer? It's a career that takes your creativity and various skills into account when deciding how good your work is. This is all down at how building skills can work and how they influence your character as well. You can literally observe someone do something and grow more knowledgeable. Want to write a compelling romance novel? Spending time around romantic people can help with that. Need to get some inspiration for your next cookbook? Watch a chef at a nearby restaurant. Wide customization. Players can create and customize their own avatars, build and customize their own homes. Every object in the game world can be changed to the player's liking. Don't like the color of the drapes in the neighbor's living room? Go ahead, change them. Every element is customizable. Moddable game engine. The game features a full visual scripting language and is open to modding to anyone, meaning you can adjust how that item operates. An example Humble gives is a bouche where the team has attached the toilet script to the bush, allowing players to, well, pee in the bushes. Players can adjust items for different reasons as well, including giving a chair the script that gives anyone who sits on it inspiration. Custom career paths. Players can create custom quest lines, jobs, career paths, and businesses in the game. You decide what is being sold there, for how much, how the story is laid out, and more. Universal basic income. Don't want to work? You don't have to either. Every character gets a universal basic income, but like everything in life by you, even that is customizable. Customizable character needs, aka cheats. Don't want to stop your hike to get your avatar a drink, just fill their thirst meter to full. Again, full player agency to create the experience you want to have in any way you want. Branching dialogue. 
conversations are generated based on the player's circumstances, relationships, and language, making each interaction unique. That piece of information, that he saw her relaxing on the couch, now is stored permanently in his memory, and he can tell other people around the world. For example, her boss. He could say, I saw her relaxing. The boss could say, at 6.29 a.m. on Monday, that's when she was meant to be at work. Live by You is aiming for Peggy 16. Peggy 16 games can feature, for example, sexual references and the use of substances like alcohol and tobacco. We won't know for sure what's included in the game until the game is officially released, but the rating alone points to a more adult-oriented gaming experience in Live by You. Although we already know, there will be no violence in the game. Out of the box, there is no violence in the game. There is nudity and romance, but we are an European company. Those are our priorities. In terms of meanness, you can be kind of mean out of the gate, but we didn't want to have any experience where it's physical or emotional violence. Some of that mean dialogue can be funny in a certain context, but can be profoundly unfunny to some people. We've been pretty careful to keep the meanness dialed here, rather than go really deep. But we also enable mods, plus live conversations where you can really get abusive. Dialogue Creator the game includes a full dialogue creator, allowing players to create custom dialogue and conversations. The full dialogue creator is in the game, even though Live by You will ship with over 1000 lines of dialogue already, when it hits early access in September. Live by You is a single player, offline experience. The choice was made for privacy and safety. It's a game about odd life. A lot of live sim players, they want to experiment with all sorts of areas, including sexual relations, having families, various things most of which they don't necessarily want to be public and shared. In fact, some of it is very sensitive. The reason that we wanted single player is so nobody can interfere with your experience. They can't come and mess it up. Also, nobody can look at your experience. That's not to say that you can't play this and share it in the way many people do, whether you're on Discord with your friends or streaming, that's fine. But out of the gate, we deliberately pick single player, because of the most important thing, freedom for the player, privacy and safety. You can rest assured playing Live by You that it's a single player game. You can play it with your internet off. It doesn't have to be connected to the internet. You can play it in any way you want and import whatever you want. You own what you create. Product Tectonic is hoping for that, looking forward to seeing all the various mods put up on Nexus Mod or even Paradox's own mod sharing platform. And regardless of how you decide to share your work, whether it be a mod, live stream, video series, broad states, that you as the player own everything you create, you will never see a DMCA come from Paradox.